good morning. I am already filming the second part of the video. What's the time? It's quarter past eight now. I've got up about seven just to film the morning bit of the video. So I've got my makeup here. I'm about to do my makeup. Got the camera here. Had such a nice night last night. Um, and oh my god, that bed is so comfy. It's so big. It makes me want to get a big bed. I'm going to finish up filming here, and then I'm I'm going to finish up filming here, and then I'm going to head to Anna's room, and I think we're going to get breakfast in the room, maybe. I quite like having breakfast in the room. Or maybe we'll go down. I don't know, I'll see what she's thinking. But I'm loving that Anna's so into Snapchat, it's hilarious. I sent her a Snapchat this morning. Okay, makeup done and video's done. Um, the de second part of the video definitely isn't as good as the first. I was running out of battery and time. So, um, and I didn't really know how to end it. So I basically just crawled on the floor and then waved to the camera, which is really weird. And I also walked out of the room without my case and none of it makes sense. but. I've done it, so that's great. Anna's ordered breakfast. I asked for, uh, what did I get? I got the traditional British, which is fresh juice, tea or coffee, white or brown bread, and then two eggs with sausage, bacon, mushroom, tomatoes, black pudding, and baked beans. That's like a proper full English breakfast. And I asked for like dippy eggs, soft boiled eggs. I'm really into those at the moment. I'm really hungry, so I'm looking forward to breakfast. I might head over to Anna's now, actually. Look how cute these photos are from last night. That's Rich's arty one sitting in front of the painting. Me and Rich. I like that one. Anna and Mark. Oh, and Rich doing his face chart, which was hilarious. He was so into it. Okay, I'm going to head to Anna's room now. Take my laptop in case I can edit. Morning! <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast is served. This is mine, the piggy with orange juice and tea and bread. And I got French toast. Oh, as nice as it looks, I'm glad I didn't get it because it smells like cinnamon. That upsets me. It does smell cinnamony. My eyes are always bigger than my stomach. Look, I failed. Why not? How's yours? My eyes are not bigger than my stomach. You only had like two <laughs> slices. Yeah, but now I'm eating your breakfast. <laughs> Okay, I'm done editing my vlog, although it's 18 minutes long and I can't be able to watch it again to edit it down. I'm going to try and carry my laptop back to my room without this disconnecting, which it always does, and pack my stuff. Anna's lying here. <laughs> and then I'm going to go home. I, go. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a cab this time because coming with a suitcase was horrific and I've got more stuff to take back with me now because Rich has left his stuff. There's problems at the station. There's problems at the station. There. Yeah, that's a really good excuse. <laughs> so I need to go pack. Okay, I'm leaving the hotel room, but I always feel like I've forgotten something. Suitcase. Uh, I think I think that's everything. Oh, my God, this is like really important. <laughs> Anna's doing my hotel hotel <laughs> check. I think you've got everything. Just sat down, edited the vlog, and it's uploading now. So I always feel calm once. I, I normally do it the night before, so when I'm doing it on the morning, I get a bit like oh, panicky, but it's going up. It's fine done the description box and everything. I'm now going to head to Asda. I'm actually doing some work with Asda, but I'm not going to talk about it much in this vlog because this specific vlog is not sponsored and I don't want to like blur the lines, but I, I need to make like a 20, 10 to 20 second really like snappy video and I kind of like a challenge. It's, it's going to be hard to make like such a quick video. So I'm going to head now to Asda to pick up some stuff and then I'm going to see Hannah. We're going to go for a walk. I'm going to pick up those tapes from Snappy Snaps. I got four tapes put onto DVD. I gave a £50 deposit on the weekend and they said there's £90 left to pay. So I think it's 140 in total, which is a lot of money for four tapes. Um, I said I'd let you guys know how much it was. I saw a lot of comments telling me that I can buy a machine that does it, but I've looked into it before and I think you need to have a VHS player. We don't have one anymore. Ours broke. So there's a lot of leads that you can connect your VHS player to your DVD player, but we don't have an actual VHS player. I could maybe buy one. It just looks so complicated. I've tried to find ways. Someone sent me a link to an American website that does it, but they don't do it for UK. So at the moment, I feel like Snappy Snaps is the only option, but I'm still looking into cheap alternatives. Okay, I'm at Asda. Asda will always remind me of uni. At where I am now, I don't have an Asda that local to me, but at uni, that was our local supermarket. So that's where we did all our food shopping. And I'll never forget when we discovered the Asda own chocolate bar, 20p for a chocolate bar, and it tastes just like Galaxy. We literally sucked up. We loved Asda own milk chocolate. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and get what I need. Okay, I'm gonna spend the next hour making a 10 to 20 second video, and then I will be back with you. Okay, I've done the video. It took me about two and a half hours to make a 20 second video, but I think it came out all right. Um, we'll see. And 
I'm gonna go now and meet Hannah. We're gonna go for a nice walk because it's really sunny and to pick up those DVDs. I'm just waiting for Hannah to turn up and I just realized I haven't eaten lunch yet. What is with me just forgetting meals? It's terrible. Really, and then I suddenly get hungry. Maybe I can find something in, during our walk. Most of my friends are late people. Not in a mean way, they don't mean it in a horrible way. They're just the sort of people who won't be there. You know they won't be there at the time you're supposed to meet. I'm very much like a, an early person, if not on time. I think it's because if I, if I think I've got to be somewhere at three, I kind of think in my head I've got to be there at quarter to three to make sure I'm definitely there. Um, whereas most of my friends, I think, if they have to be somewhere at three, they start kind of panicking at three and then they leave the house. So comment on this video and let me know if you're a late person or an on time or early person, that you just are what you are. Um, most of my friends are late people. <laughs> I'm just walking with Hannah and I told you guys last time that if I saw Hannah this week I would ask her a question. She has no idea what I'm about talking about. But basically it's it's surely <laughs> you have to smile the entire time. Basically, it's exam season, did you know? I didn't oh, know. I did know, I did okay, know. Okay, so everyone's taking exams, everyone's revising, mm. and I was like, oh I didn't know, I wish I could have given you some advice, and then I realised I couldn't give you advice anyway because I did failed everything. <laughs> But I said that you were really good at revising and I remember you had like folders of folders of stuff. Obviously it's a bit late now, <laughs> but I wondered if you had any last minute revising tips for people. Put you on the spot here. Um, I can think of a few actually. Okay, go on then. Uh, so, the best thing I did when I was revising, and I was really militant crazy person when I revised, I did um, like a timetable. So even if it's just for like three days before your exams with all your modules, split it out into timetable and do all your hard ones in the morning because that's when you probably work best and do them first and then you can do the easier things that build up your confidence just before your exams towards the end. Oh, that's a good one. I just remember I, GCSEs I used to go around when you And were you have to stick to it, you have to stick to it. <laughs> you were doing your AS levels, I was doing GCSEs. And you had like, she had like a proper full on timetable. Well, I wasn't great at keeping to it, but I think that was a good idea because you have like a guide. Then. You have to like live and breathe the timetable yeah. and stick to it like all the time. Yeah. And also maybe morning isn't your best time. Maybe it's the evening. Like for me, morning is 100% my best time and I can't do any work after seven. So if you kill it during the day and do loads of revision until seven, then you can actually enjoy your evening and like see your mates and have fun and have a bit of a rest. Yeah, and what about, okay, so obviously when we were doing exams, social media didn't really exist. If you were oh, a teenager now, we don't really know where we're going, by the way, <laughs> we're kind of getting lost here. In the woods, <laughs> it's scary actually. If you were a teenager now, how would you deal with like, because obviously a lot of people look on Twitter and Snapchat mm. and YouTube, when do you allow yourself time to do that? Like throughout, or would you give yourself like a set time? Oh, good question, Lil. <laughs> this is oh. like an interview with. <laughs> and I can't believe it's about revision. <laughs> Um, I wish I could go back and do it again. So what I would do is, if you have your timetable, which you stick to, do it in blocks. So you do like two hours in the morning, two hours in the after, uh, like, let's say you did like nine till 11, and then you had a half an hour break, and then you did 11.30 to 1.30. In your 11 till 11.30 break, that's when you can look at all your social media and Twitter, and then leave your phone, your iPad, everything in the other room. Yeah. So you can only do it in those allocated time slots. Or else just do it the whole time. That's a good idea. There you go. Tips for revision I with like Hannah. <laughs> By the way, me and Hannah want to do a proper video together and I've been saying for ages that I want to do like a hair video, like how to style your hair when it's curly and how oh, to style it when it's straight. Oh, mine's really bad today. No, but everyone said, <laughs> I told her that everyone was commenting saying she looks like the girl from that programme. I can't remember. Ilana something. Glazer. Gla yeah. Gla I didn't know who she was, but I googled it and I was like, oh my god, it's Hannah. I thought it was going to be Jonathan Creek. Which was <laughs> <laughs> Do you get that a lot? <laughs> That's Maybe so they don't want any styling oh, tips from mud. me. That's so funny. No, we're going to do a hair video. And also we're going to have a fun day out on Monday, so it should be in another vlog then. We're just getting lost there. We're going to go try and find the snappy snap. Seriously, where are we? <laughs> Show this, is what it, are. this is what it looks like. We're just walking up this path. And we live in London <laughs> and we're going to a snappy snap. I know. I bet people not from London don't realise this. You can get this in London. All right, we're back with more tips. <laughs> Hannah was like, we should do a video on revision tips. I'm like, this is it. This is, the vid this is your moment. <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> oh, look at that tree. It's falling over. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Anyway, she's thought of another tip. I thought you guys are going to want more tips. 
because exams are going on for quite a few more months, I think. Um, okay, so go on. So another tip I just thought of is find someone who's just a little bit cleverer than you and then you can revise with them and then they really push you to think differently so if for example you're doing history or like an essay based subject like English you could like do um, you could like test each other with like little cards and just sit opposite on opposite sides of the sofa together and you can test each other and then say oh have you thought of this oh but you could answer it like that and it's really good to develop your like essay writing skills everyone has a friend that's cleverer than them <laughs> let's just hope that friend isn't watching this video because they won't want to revise with you if you're the not cleverer one <laughs> I revised with Hannah she's definitely cleverer than me but then on the days I wasn't with her she obviously found a cleverer friend to revise no, no, she's rubbish I didn't even know how to tell on the computer <laughs> yeah that's true I'd win in IT <laughs> <laughs> definitely and so I went around to my cousins the other day and she's got her wall is covered mm. with tiny little post-it notes and it's got like the question on one side and then you f flick it under and the answer's underneath so she'll like oh, nice. use it to test herself and I thought that was pretty clever I like very visual colourful things if depends you like, how you work if you like visual colourful things you could do for example if you did I did lots of essay based subjects because I'm really crap at things like maths and the sciences but if you did you could say like you have your essay question you know which is usually something like describe or compare and contrast something Ooh, <laughs> sorry, <branch. laughs> something. <laughs> and then you have your question in the middle and you do a massive spider diagram around it with all your different points just like bullet points all around it so it's kind of everywhere and then you can just number them and you can put them around your house so that for example when you're in the shower yeah that's a good idea or brushing your teeth you just have it and you're just looking at that question and you've got all the answers to that question on this one spider diagram so it's good. It's so hard. I feel like my school, definitely, they didn't tell me how to revise. Suddenly it was exam season and they were like, make sure you revise. I was like, I don't even know what that means. So I hope these tips are helpful to you guys because no one told me at the time. Where did you learn how to revise your brother? Yeah, and my school were pretty good yeah, at telling good. me how to revise. That's good. Oh By the way, we're still lost. <laughs> <laughs> Literally no idea where we're going. Is, um... Can I show everyone your pretty outfit? Because you look really but nice and summery. Hang on, I'll put my phone Okay, back. let's ignore the trainers. Pretty skirt, where's that from? Um, this shop in Notting Hill. Okay, and nice plain white tee. Just a plain white tee. And tea. these sunglasses are from Bobby Brown's new collection at Liberty. I love them. They're so cool, I really like them, they really suit you. Hannah's run off to see if that's a dead child because I think it's just someone sunbathing, but she's convinced it's a dead child. <laughs> no, not a dead child? <laughs> Is it a grown adult sunbathing? <laughs> they look so small. <laughs> now, I know the heath pretty well, but we've properly got lost. I've never ever been to this part in my life of coming here. It's so nice, it's an adventure. <laughs> it is nice, it's because we're just talking, we're not concentrating, so I think now we're going in the wrong direction, we're trying to head down. Um, let's hope you don't miss Snappy Snaps closing. <laughs> no, it'll be fun, it's really early still. Snappy Snaps, finally, Ooh. we made it. Yay! Let's go get those DVDs. I got them and it was ridiculously expensive. Okay, I'm home now and it was so nice having such a long walk with Hannah. We got so lost, but it means that we could just talk for ages. We literally, my legs are killing me. I got blisters because we walked so far in like non-walking shoes. But it was really nice to catch up with her. And I'm so excited to watch my DVDs. They're all here. Um, but first of all, work. I obviously have not spent the afternoon at home, so I need to do some work. And tomorrow's blog post I haven't scheduled yet. I'm quite behind on blog posts because of these daily vlogs. So I'm going to do tomorrow's and Friday's, so that's done. Because tomorrow I'm out at meetings. And then um, hopefully watch one of my DVDs. Hello, Lily. What are you doing with your dress? Look at my hair! Do you know where you are? <laughs> do you know what's in this part? I can't believe this hair. This afro hair. This is me a few years later in Antigua. I've just been watching some of those DVDs and they're so funny. As I said, I'm still friends with all the same people. So like Debs is in my fifth birthday party and Hannah's there as well. And then my sixth birthday party is like Keisha's there and Debs and Hannah and Debs. I had a swimming party for my sixth birthday. And uh, we're all in the pool playing and it just like the camera pans to Debs and she's just crying her eyes out on the bench and her dad's trying to convince her to get in. She always hated swimming parties and swimming, it was so funny. I'm going to head downstairs now and I think we're going to watch Grey's Anatomy. This is like the one after the big one, so I think it's going to be quite emotional. So I will see you guys tomorrow, thank you for watching. 
My highlight of the day today was that walk with Hannah. It was really nice to spend some good quality time with her and catch up on everything. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hi Lily, it's Melissa from Chicago. In case you're filming right now, my highlight of the day is that I got everything on my to-do list done. Yes. Hi Lily, my name is Sam from Doncaster. I um, have loved watching your vlogs and the highlight of my day was this Snapchat and sending it to you. Hi Lily, I'm Kande from Argentina, I'm 19 and my highlight of the day was finishing my exams. And Anna's currently joining Snapchat. This has literally made my week. This is going to be my highlight of today, Anna. <laughs> the fact that you've joined Snapchat.